Spiggity spoogity spiggity spat, what am I gonna pull out of my hat? Really? Kawasaki? Today on Moto Shenanigan Q&A, I got a special guest! Ooh. My ancestors rolled in on a Honda. They traded in their horses and went straight to American ingenuity. I tell you what, George Washington would be one proud man if he could sit here right now. No joke. So basically, they ask Austin, why do you ride red? Why wouldn't you want to ride red? I mean, who wouldn't want to look like a flaming tampon just zooming down the highway, fifth gear wheeling? I'm pushing out more bald eagles than Kellogg's does pop tarts. I mean, hot I don't know why everyone gets their car over at KTM. I mean, why? You're over there in Australia jumping over kangaroos and I'm in your local bar jumping over Leonard Skinner to Kid Rock's groupies. Everyone says uh, that you have to kick your leg out when you're coming around the corner and all that stuff. If you got a coach that tells you all this bullshit, then you're doing it wrong. If you're not able to be free like you are on a Honda because this is American Ingenuity, home of the free, then you need to fire your coach immediately. When you are on this fire-breathing, eagle-screaming machine, you need to be loose and free. So hey, if you just want to kick a leg up, kick a leg up. If you want to just lean back, lean back, okay? This thing is meant for the home is it true that your red spokes give you an extra 25 horsepower? Might as well go ahead and ask if these two stickers up here go ahead and add an extra 50. The thing is, this thing don't run on 93 octane like most of you run in your bike. This thing runs off straight Jack Daniels or stripper glitter, okay? And these two stickers right here automatically give you an extra 50 horsepower. It don't even matter because I'm going so fast you're not even going to be able to see the color of the spokes. Honestly, when you're just uh, spinning, it's just going to look like my tires are on fire. But here's the thing, my tires really are on fire because these things aren't even highway permitted. But I'm going so freaking fast that my tires are ready to blow at any second. Do you not understand that? The KTMs cannot go where the Hondas go, and they cannot get out of where the Hondas go because we came straight from hell and back on earth to terrorize every single living Suzuki, Yamaha, Kawasaki, KTM, Gas Gas, Husqvarna, yada 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 yada. They go to a magical place. When, hold on, let me put my thinking glasses on and I'll answer that question. Oh, much better. Where does the Honda go? See, I like to close my eyes, and then when I see a brand spanking new Honda 250R, I see Kid Rock on this side, I see Leonard Skinner on this side, and then I see God himself up in the front row, and he's singing the lead vocals, and he's just screaming. When the rebel yells, he cries, forward, forward, forward. Why is it that it's only been 20 hours and your valves already need readjusted? Cause I go so fast, man. I'm always fifth gear ripping wheelies down the highway and the cops can't catch me. I mean, if your valves don't need adjusted by the first 15 or 20 hours, you're not riding the bike right, or you're probably just not riding the Honda. Okay, next question. I see you got the whole American theme going on here, but your bike is indeed a Japanese manufactured bike. What do you got going on right here? Whenever we was bombing our out there in Lima Kima or whatever that it was called, we was too busy taking back the Honda, true American ingenuity, and we left that Suzuki out there out in the PK Ping Dong. So whose bike in the group is the loudest? It's not about whose bike is the loudest. Have you even heard what bald eagles even sound like? I have. Hey Siri, does Kellogg's make Pop-Tarts? Calling Tanya. God damn!